when will the round of, of trade talks with China begin after your agreement over It's the already begun. Are they meeting? They're already, already begun. They're speaking very much on phone, but they're also meeting. Yeah, it's essentially already begun. It actually began before our meeting. But do you know when the, the White House will sit Whatever down? Whatever it takes. Look, if we don't make a great deal, if we don't make a fair deal, it has to be better for us than for them because they had such a big advantage for so many years. In other words, you can't make a 50-50 deal when somebody else has been absolutely, I've been talking about this for years. China made, we had a surplus, meaning they did on us, of $507 billion. It's been hundreds of billions of dollars a year for many, many years. So obviously you can't make a 50-50 deal. It has to be a deal that is somewhat tilted to our advantage. And if we're not going to do that, we're taking in a fortune from tariffs. And unfortunately, we're hurting China by doing that because many of their companies are leaving and going to a non-tariff state so they don't have to pay the tariffs. And the other misconception about China, and I think you read an article today in the Wall Street Journal about it, well, people aren't paying for those tariffs. In that case, certainly, China's paying for them. And those companies are paying for them. China devalued their currency very substantially. And they also put a lot of money into their economy. They're pouring money. It's fake money, but it's money. And they're pouring money into their economy to take care of the tariffs. Some people are, you don't have increased inflation. You have no increased inflation. But I'll tell you what is happening. Our treasury is taking in billions and billions of dollars of money that normally would be for China. So we'll see what happens. We hope that we can make a deal, but it's got to be a fair deal. We had a deal, as far as I was concerned. And then at the last moment, China decided they didn't like that deal. And they changed it. It's all right. Then I said, you're going to pay 25% tariffs on $250 billion. And did President Xi said he would move on some of those issues that were... No, I, should, I expect him to move. And if he doesn't move, that's okay, too. I'm very happy either way. But I think we have a good chance of making a deal. I think they want to make a deal. Because they're losing many companies that are leaving because of the tariffs. Because they don't want to pay the tariffs. So they're losing many companies. They're moving to Vietnam. And by the way, some are moving back to the United States where they belong.